Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to some more Life is Strange. Now, in the first episode, I told you guys I would be avoiding the comments just so I could avoid spoilers, and I would judge how interested you guys are in this series by the like bar. And you guys have shown me so much love. There are over 24,000 likes and counting. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for showing me so much support on this series. I will continue this because I'm doing this for all my Cub Scouts. And plus, this was cool as well. So let's go to our dorm and get our flash drive. But first, you know what? I gotta explore some of these things. There's some coins here. Let's take a look-see. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Shut your ass up. You don't care if everybody got their wish. Does anybody actually believe in that coin mumbo jumbo? Let's talk to Hayden. And Hayden is a dude? What the fuck? Okay, let's look at Hayden first. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Why is this guy talking like that? He's like, Hi, oh, I'm Hayden. I have a woman's name, but I am so smart and I talk proper. Let's, uh, let's talk later. Actually, let's talk about Nathan Prescott. You know, the dude with the gun? The gangster dude? Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's alright and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Why is this guy talking like that? Like a robot. Fuck the haters, I am a robot. He seems unstable. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later. I don't want to talk to Mr. Robot, dude. Let's talk later, Hayden. Hi, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Yeah, right. You're trying to get a threesome, aren't you? Go to your dorm and recharge your battery, you weirdo. Let's, uh, let's talk to Brooke. Oh, she got the iPad on? What's she playing? Temple Run? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Oh, a drone! I've always wanted a drone. I've always wanted one. That is on my bucket list. Hopefully I could buy a drone ASAP. I'd love to. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Damn! Calm down, bitch! Just because you got a drone, think you're all big and bad. Can he, he can search her bag? Hold on, let me look at it first. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. Fuck it. YOLO. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. High fly B400 Evo HD bloody bloody bloody. Cool. Good thing she didn't see that. What does that mean at the top left? Those quote marks. I don't know, but we shall find out soon. So we need to go to our dorm room. What? I want to check out the swim team. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Blackwell Academy, Otter Power, 2012 Swim Team! Aw, oh, yeah. Okay. We're good. I like reading all these things, it's really Otter cool. Otter Power? I'm so not there. There is one problem I do have with this game, though. It's that the way they're speaking kind of feels a little bit unrealistic on how people have conversations. this is aquatic magic. Like, when I talk to people, I'm like, What's up, motherfucker? But then when I'm talking here, it's like, oh, hello, Max. How are you doing today? I am fine. Thank you. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Yeah. Bullying is going to be never ending no matter what we do. There's always going to be that one person that's like, fuck this. I'm going to bully this person and fuck Warren's the rules. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Oh, I was just exploring the school, Max. I mean, are you going to really hate on me? What's up, baby? How you doing, Blondie? Hello? Oh, you, you're not even gonna say excuse me with your mullet haircut? Wait, who's this guy? I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. 
Wait, this is the guy with the nice scarf that I like, the hipster dude. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Steve McCurry? Eugene Smith? Robert Kappa? Robert Dajnow? I might as well answer this blindfolded. I'm gonna get the same results. Let's say Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy Mom, about did that Did I get photo. it? Did I get it? My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Yeah, see, nobody talks like that. Nobody fucking talks like that. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Yeah, totally mesmerizing. Okay, so now we gotta meet our little boy toy over by this place. Left mouse button to go to dormitories. Cool. But that's my only problem I have with this game. Just the dialogue, that's it. On, Everything else is cool. It, this game is right up my alley. Yeah! Uh. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! You could just feel like the school vibe in this game too. I really appreciate that fact. I need fact. to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. You got it, Max. And what I mean by you just feel the school vibe, it feels like there's just some life here. Let's look at Alyssa. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Can you imagine someone just walking up to you and just like looking at you and then like thinking in their head what they think about you and you're just like, who the fuck are you? Oh. Hi, Max. How are you? What are you reading? Let's say, what are you reading? It's more realistic. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, sorry. Sorry I interrupted you. Hey, cool kids. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your ass up! I already don't like Since her. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Yeah. Really? Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. No. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Why don't you oh, close yes, your legs, Victoria. ho? I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Yeah. Let's, uh, can we fast be rewind time? Is that what we need to do? Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Oh, it doesn't even matter. I see. So no matter what we do, we need to find a way in here. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Yeah! There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Oh, look at that sweet ass. Go ahead, Sammy, do your thing. Go ahead. So we have to turn on the sprinkler to a max level. And Samuel's going up there. So we are gonna go in here. <gasps> what the <laughs> hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Oh. Water on my cashmere. She said. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Why are you such a bitch? Sweet. Uh oh. Oh, I see where this is going, and I like it. We gotta use Samuel to trip it, right? No. no? Sammy, my dude. Is that what we need to do? Oh, maybe we need to borrow these guys' footballs. Yeah. Hey, over here. Come on. Throw it over here. I got hands. I got hands, baby. Give it to me. Yeah, my guy. My... Oh, you son of a bitch. Nice, bro. We need this. I need this. 
How are we gonna get that pain bucket down? Let me think. Let Papa J think. Can I grab this, Mr. Squirrel? Can I use this can to throw at the paint bucket? No? What is going on here? Awesome. Do you know? Man, you don't even know what's going on. Do you even know what day of the week it is? Why does she look so fucking dazed and confused? Oh, I get it. I get it. I need to tamper with the bucket. Okay. Yes. Now okay, our plan should go in motion. This works. Sweet. So, let me see. We have to flip the switch. Samuel looks like he hates life. I know, Samuel. I know. I'd be pissed, too. If I had to paint the walls of a school that I probably don't even like. Skip this. What the hell? There we go. There we go. Yes! No way! Gotcha, no bitch! You okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Samuel's son is scary as fuck, though. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Make fun of or comfort? You know what? We are nice, good-hearted people, so we are going to comfort her because that's just what we do. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. Yeah. It was. But there will be another. Sweet. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Nice, He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Just... See? That's what you happens when you're just good. Towel before they hang a sign on me. Sweet. Awesome. You deserve a better shot. Sorry oh. about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was That's new, how we do it, baby. Pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Yeah! Awesome! High five, Victoria girl. probably played me. I should have played her. Who cares, man? Married before I find Warren. We'll be alright. You know what? Should we see what it's like if we make fun of her? Ah... Uh, Nah, she blocked our uh, our selfie thing. Or she deleted the selfie thing, so we're okay. That's what happens when you're good-hearted people. Sometimes they just have a change of heart. We made the right decision. I'm sticking with that. Taylor is a slave? That's not nice. Hi, Courtney. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Yeah. Oh, where are you girls going? Okay, bye-bye. Oh yeah, they're gonna give Amber, or not Amber, they're gonna give Victoria a coat. New coat. At least coat. that's an alarm from this century. Max's room. AKA the best room. Oh shit, she plays the guitar. See you, girl. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Same here, girl. Same here. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine! We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day! We'll miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. Aww, how cute. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. Oh wait, like me and Mama wrote me. What's up, Mama? Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it. it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Well, nine months before that, you and Daddy were getting freaky, and then I was born. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Mom. So let's uh, call our mom. How do we call mom? I guess we don't call mom yet. 
I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. This is a pretty cool room. Oh, this artsy fartsy rooms. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. One day you'll stop thinking out loud to yourself, but that day may never come. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer Chloe. I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Which one is Chloe? They look the same. They look like twins. Uh, bed. Where's that flash drive? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace! Whoa and G! Yeah, you a G, dog. Oh wait, let's uh, look at the photo. Or take a photo of us in the mirror. Good. That's good. And we got an achievement. Red Eye. Lie down. Art books. Let's look at the pictures, shall we? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. They were so drunk? Aren't you like 18? Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Like, who the fuck talks like that to themselves? I don't. I'm like, yo, look at that ass, boy. That's a fine ass, huh, Jay? And then I'm like, yeah, that is a fine ass, Jay. I am Jay. so addicted to this sight. Look at these vintage beauties. She's addicted to camera porn. I'm um, addicted to another site of the same name. You know what I'm saying? Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, borrowed your drive so I could watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. XOXO. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. It's okay. We can stay in Dana's room, Netflix and chill, because she wants to watch those flicks, you know what I'm saying? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. What? Uh-oh. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Answer, you wuss. Ah. Wait, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see how this plays out. You are ridiculous. Okay. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. If you don't let me out, I will scream. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. <laughs> How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? What? I don't even know who the fuck you are. Juliet Mason, Juliet Patson, Juliet Olson. You know what? We're just gonna keep rewinding till we get this right. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks uh -oh. for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> awesome! Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I do know your name. Juliet Watson, be nice. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my you name at all. Ridiculous. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How do you know? Would you Dana do that? Know. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I 
swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. You know the proof is in her room. The proof is in the pudding, they always say. So now we just gotta find the pudding. Where is Victoria's room? Is this it? Does that say? Showers open? Ugh. Ugh. That's one of like the cringiest things is like when there's like a communal shower or a public shower, anything like that, and people walk around barefoot. Ugh. Makes me cringe. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully we don't find any black dildos in here. Not that I would be surprised if there was a white or black dildo. I'm just saying, I hope we don't find any type of dildo. International photographer Mark Jefferson. Yaddy yaddy. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Dang, this girl's missing and she like put bitch and X's over her eyes and who cares? It was probably her. Well, I don't think she would kidnap her or like do anything like that. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Recollection images by Mark Jefferson. Where is that Avidance? I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sext from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, with two Zs, believe me, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves, deserves, okay, I, I thought it was going to be something else, but it says deserves. Deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Okay. Let's print this bad boy. Print email. There we go. Let's take a look. I bet Victoria Whoops. put Juliet on her shit list after this article. What is this? The Blackwell Totem. Is the Vortex Club a cult by Juliet Watson? Oh. Okay, so she thinks the Vortex Club is a cult. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. Huh. I see. But we need to do this. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Let's take a look in here, though. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. These boots were made for walking, and Ouch. that's just what they well, At least do. she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. Basically means you suck. Get good. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. 3,600? My goodness. Create your future. Jump into the 22nd century with the Tezuka 3D desktop printer. Design and produce your vision. Holy crap, that's a shitload of money. For a printer? Hell no. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. I think we're good here. Wait, mess up. Speaking of selfies... What happens if I mess this up? Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And <laughs> this one there. Hmm, a pattern ah, Perfect. This action will have consequences. You know what? I'm trying to be the best student I can be, to be honest. So, let's rewind just a little bit. There you go. We're not going to mess that up. I just wanted to see what would happen if we did. Juliet. My dear Juliet, nobody was sexting your dear Romeo. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. 
You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Yo, some of these girls are a little bit cute, though. Like, are these based off real people? Because, hmm, what's done. up, girl? You're looking fine. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Yes. Let's look at this first. Let's be nosy. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know, Logan. Yeah, you definitely pussed out. If you need any money, that's so bitch made. Give me my flash Must drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Ooh. Comment down below, cringy as fuck. Of course, a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. A million? So That's fascinating it? fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. She has subscribers? Okay, I see you. What are we doing here? Cheerleader outfits. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Let's talk to this cutie with a booty before we go. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. Juliet gets her rage on. Victoria is not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Because he wants to get into my panties. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Hmm. The special folder called Max. It better not be like a video of him touching himself and saying, Max, I miss you, Max. Let's see. Hopefully my theories are wrong. <laughs> I don't want them to be correct. Hopefully it's just as innocent as this game may make it seem. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Sure you have self-respect. How do we open that? Alrighty then, I guess we don't do anything with this flash drive. So I am just gonna... Just gonna lay down for a while, rest my head. And just hold my teddy bear and go to sleep. I mean, what more can you do? Who the fuck lays like that? It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Inception. That must be so uncomfortable to sleep like that. <laughs> that would hurt my lower back. It's a nice beanbag though that she's laying on. What the hell are you doing? Is this just gonna go on forever? Like, I feel like a stalker looking through her window watching her sleep. I'm like, yes, sleep, Max. Lay down and relax. Oh, yeah. I guess I just get up. That was so random, guys. I'm sorry you had to witness that. That was awkward. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Well, you're not special, sweet cakes, because everybody looks. No matter what we do. You guys are looking at this video right now. Everybody looks. Let's water our plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. <laughs> I'm the worst baby mama! And we watered our plant and it says this action will have consequences. So that mean our plant will love us. Let's get out of here. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this USB drive. I know I'm about to feel real stupid in a second. Let's go see if we can find Warren outside. Fire alarm. What's that say? What? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Ghosts. Nothing left but ghosts. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Hmm. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, damn. 
see you reading those magazines. Is that Pringles? Love Pringles. Not that much. I don't like Pringles that much. Warren, there he is. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. Yay, there we go. So we really didn't have to do anything. We just needed to keep walking around. Whew. Okay. Sometimes I overanalyze things like, am I supposed to like really analyze the flash drive or just read it and then leave? So now that I know more about how this game is going to work. Shit. What? Ow, that hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Yeah. What the hell was that? Throwing a football at a poor young soul? It's not cool. Let's fix that. Let's talk to him before anything. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit. Damn it. Let's talk to this girl this time. Come on, we gotta run. You're gonna get hit with a football. Warn. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Woo, Kobe. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, you did, up top. Speak to her. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. That was close. No problem. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. What if she dodged the wrong way, though? Like, she went this way and she's like... Pfft! And then it just... <laughs> it even hits her even harder. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. All right, I'm sorry. Don't call me a hipster again. You know, I don't like that. We need to meet Warren. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo, intervene. Let's take a photo for Avidance. Because if we intervene, then we won't you have any evidence. Me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Yeah. Get out of here, pussy. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Nope. I thought I we could step in between Kate and I thought we could have taken that a picture so, so we can show the, the principal. You know what I'm I saying? Rewind and try something different. Yeah, you guys get what I'm saying though, right? I thought that I could take a photo and then show the principal some evidence and be like, hey, the security guy is abusing the students. Intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Yeah. Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Yeah, we did the right oh, thing. Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Yay! I that was like my thinking. I hero helping Kate, but... Now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Well, Maybe fuck I should Officer rewind David and mind my own business? No. I like the decision I made. Because my whole point was to help that girl. But I thought the photo would be used as evidence, like I mentioned, like a million times already. But we did the right thing. We helped that poor girl out. I'm cool with that. Even if Officer Dickhead wants to come fuck with me. I'm the boss. He ain't gonna fuck with me for long. Is that him? That's the guy? Come on, Max. You could do better than that guy. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry. I'm still screwed up. Sorry about Zachary. I won't bother you. Sorry about that douchebag. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. 
Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. See ya. It's hard. It's hard something. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Tard mama. It says tard mama. What the fuck is a tard mama? That that's not even a diss. Hey, you're a tard Max, mama. Get your ass over here. What? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to like that, pussy boy? What up, Max? Get your ass how over here. Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. It sucks. It's very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I don't want to talk. Really? Let's just say I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it? No fucking way. I've heard about that. I heard that movie was really gruesome and they killed an actual animal, I think, a pig or something, and it got a lot of controversy. That's what I remember from that movie. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. I'm not feeling this Warren guy for some reason. I don't know. What do you guys think about this Warren guy? Let's just say faster, pussy! Kill, kill! No, I was impressed you had faster, pussycat, kill, kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk. Don't want to speak about it. Let's tell him we need to talk. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. Yes, For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Oh. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth and don't call me a bitch, bitch. I told him the truth, a student had a gun. No. You told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. Calm down, you school talk shooter. to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back. I could call the police. You know what? Let's be a little bit intimidating. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Yeah! Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh, shit! With the hey, headbutt, though! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! Go. Well, get your hands off me! Oh, shit. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Oh, fuck! He's getting his ass whooped! What about him? Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Wait, so Max just left the guy there to get his ass beat? <laughs> well, I saw the security guard, but still. She just dipped. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Oh, thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. 
don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. I have no idea. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I've never been to Seattle personally. It is on my bucket list of things to do. Uh, I'll say no. Seattle doesn't suck hard. Or it didn't suck hard. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. Only for Mark Jefferson. Oh, of course. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Oh, you too, you girl. You too. Calm soon? down. No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Damn. I wanted to. Give me a break. I'm sorry. I feel bad about not texting a friend for five years, but I do that personally. Sometimes I don't talk to my friends for months on end. Let's say I'm sorry. That's all you gotta do. Own up to what you didn't do. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Yeah, sit your ass back. You know Chloe was right. You gotta text your friends. Broken. Oh. Man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Serial? Not Are you serial? Changes. Are you Except serial? My camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Thank you. Thank you. I think this would be the perfect time to end today's episode. It is pretty long. <laughs> And I know I said last episode wasn't going to be long, and it was 40 minutes. But these episodes just fly by. Like, I don't really know how long it's been so far. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a long episode. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's just go with the flow. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Home shit home. At least you have a home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. So we got our homegirl smoking some weed. We're in her room that looks pretty much like our room because there's posters all over the wall. So I'm going to end today's episode here. If you guys want to see more Life is Strange, make sure you guys give this video a like because I won't be checking the comments. I'm just going to judge how much you guys are interested in this series by the like bar. So make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!